Let's discuss the question answers given on page 200 of your textbook. We'll take the question one by one and we'll discuss. We'll try to recollect what we have studied. First question, what is sustainable use? Now sustainable use is for the development and the conservation of our environment to reduce the wastage of, our, and of the various raw materials which we are making use of. And this is called sustainable use. Second, second question, this type of question will come for one mark question. What is sustainable use? So that is enough to write. Second question, what are the objectives of sustainable development? Now there are some objective laid down which are given in your book. So I'll just discuss in short. The first objective is to reduce pollution of the environment. Second objective, to restrain the use of raw materials. As far as possible, use less raw material. Third, to, if I use less raw material, I'll help, I will help in the protection of environment. So protection of environment can become the third type of objective. Fourth, social equality in accessing the various raw materials. So everyone should be able to use the raw materials and there should be no inequality in it. And fifth, continuous economic growth. So for, if I do all these steps properly, I, might, uh, I may be able to help in the economic growth of a country. So these are the various objectives of sustainable development. Third question, write three measures to conserve water. Now this you can write on your own also. How as a student, how as a teenager, what can you do to conserve water? Water can be conserved at our home also. If I want to use water, reuse the water, what can be done? I had told, told you during the explanation that if I am using water for washing vegetables, those, that water should not be thrown away. That water can be used to water the plants. Secondly, see for the leaking taps and pipes. That can also conserve a lot of water. These are some of the ways to conserve water at your level. That means at a student level, what can you do? Question number four, how can we save energy in day-to-day -day life? Now there are so many ways in day-to-day -day life we can save energy. Energy can be saved by using various alternatives. Question number four, how can we save energy in day-to-day -day life? We will just point out the various points. How can we save energy? First, conserve energy. How to conserve energy? By using the various alternative sources of energy also we can conserve energy. Then conservation of water. It will also save lot of energy in day-to-day -day life. Then third, conservation of biological resources. When I say biological resources, it means plants, animals, microorganisms. That means we have to conserve our forests so that the plants and animals can be conserved. Fourth, reduction in pollution. All types of pollution can be reduced if human beings want. So air pollution, sound pollution, water pollution, soil pollution. This can be reduced by implementing various ways. Then reuse reduce and recycle. This is another way where we can uh, save energy in day-to-day -day life. And finally, the population growth can be controlled. If population is controlled, the amount, the demand will be less and when the demand is less, obviously the energy demand also becomes less. So these are the various ways in which we can save energy in day-to-day -day life. Question number six. What is eco mark? Now this eco mark I had shown you it looks like a pot. Now this eco mark is put on various products and if the product has this eco mark it means that it is recyclable or it can be re reused again. Such type of products should be taken where the eco mark is present on such goods and this shows that it is safe to use such type of goods. Question number seven. What is recycling? Give one example. Now as I had told you, recycling, if I am not able to use a product, I can recycle it. Very simple example is plastic. If you have a plastic product like a bucket or toy or something else and it has broken, now what will you do with it? You will throw it in the dustbin? Instead, you should give it for recycling. 
the plastic can be melted and again molded into a new good and this is where we can recycle the plastic may various things glass uh, polythene bags these can also be recycled very easily so this is called as recycling mention one provision on environment given in our constitution now our constitution has given various provisions on environment so provision for environment was given in 1986 under the environment law and this law state that how to protect the environment how to conserve the environment by reducing the pollution certain powers given to by the central government were laying down the standards for environmental quality we have to see the quality of air and that standard has to be maintained another power given was laying down procedures and safeguard for handling the hazardous material the materials or the raw materials which can be hazardous to soil to human beings to organisms should be stopped used by for using it we should not use such type of hazardous material and there there the standard has to be maintained another power given to it was restri restricting the areas in which the industries and other establishment have to be set up the areas have to be marked where the residential areas are there these such type of chemical factories should not be allowed to set up this this power was given to central government this these are various provisions given uh, in our constitution related to environment law next question what is the fundamental duty of each citizen regarding the environment again there are so many fundamental duties as a citizen what we should do as a citizen we should preserve the rich heritage of our culture by preserving and by preserving environment you have seen the concept map which i have just explained now this lesson is about the environment and its conservation the questions which are given in your exercise also are related to those issues which we have already dealt in detail all the acts all the laws all the provisions the powers given by to the central government to the state government the control board all provisions and all laws i have gone in detail while explaining you can go one by one if the questions according to the questions of the exercise and you have to actually learn the articles the laws the act word by word this is very important because it comes for one or two mark question this whole chapter has the weightage of only four marks and in this chapter basically what is important you have to understand you have to understand the various answers which may lead only for the environment conservation part for example what is 3r or what is 3r mantra this question came last year so this type of question which is related to environment which are important for you to understand you should go through thoroughly and then this lesson will be uh, very easy to understand and as it carries only four marks you have to devote time for the only important part of this lesson go through the acts once and you can write in your own words also so thus we finish the chapter of evs lesson number 15